Hey folks, Derek Kilmer here, proud representative for Washington 6th Congressional District. Sorry I couldn't be with you live today, but I'm doing the next best thing, sending you a long and boring video. In all seriousness, I am thrilled that you're all meeting today to discuss how to make the federal government work better for folks, especially when it relates to transparency. It's been a big priority for me since I got to D.C. Like you, I believe government data can increase transparency and help those within and outside of government evaluate the effectiveness and efficiency of practices, policies, and programs. The importance of evidence-based policymaking and the value of government data is why I supported the Foundations for Evidence-Based Policymaking Act, which I know many of you are supporters of too. The legislation contained a bill that I had introduced, the Bipartisan Bicameral Open Government Data Act, which requires federal agency to establish data inventories to make data more available to the public while safeguarding private information. And I'm thrilled we got that bill signed into law. As many of you know, over the past few years, I've served as the chair of the Select Committee on the Modernization of Congress, also known as the Fix Congress Committee. About every 20 or 30 years or so, Congress creates a committee focused on trying to improve the ability of Congress to uphold its constitutional duties and better serve the American people. And our committee is the recent iteration of that. At this point, our committee has passed over 140 recommendations to make reforms to how Congress works so that it works better for the American people. Among other things, our proposals have ranged from reforming the budget and appropriations process, modernizing the institution's use of technology, enhancing the capacity of Congress to ensure that quality staff can better serve folks back home, and to make the institution less reliant on lobbyists. And we're turning our recommendations into results. Already, nearly two-thirds of those recommendations have been implemented or are on their way to being implemented. Importantly, we've also focused on making Congress more transparent. It was, in fact, our very first set of recommendations. Many of the tools used to monitor the development and passage of legislation remain unnecessarily cumbersome and outdated. For constituents and for members of Congress, too, it's still difficult to track legislative changes, to monitor lobbyist involvement in the legislative process, and to see how members vote in committee. So, our committee has made recommendations that aim not only to make members more transparent to the people that they were elected to serve, but also make the legislative process within Congress more efficient and accessible for the American people. Let me get specific. The committee proposed streamlining the bill writing process by implementing one standardized system to draft legislation and track changes. The committee also recommended finalizing a new system to easily track how amendments change legislation and the impact of proposed legislation to current law. The American public shouldn't need a Rosetta Stone to figure out what a piece of legislation does. We think this recommendation would make legislation more transparent and perhaps a bit easier for folks to understand. To support committees and make it easier to follow complex reauthorizations, the committee proposed creating a list of expiring or unauthorized agencies and programs accessible with just the click of a mouse. That could help the American public better understand the agenda in Congress and maybe even spur committees to get to work reauthorizing programs that are expiring. The committee also recommended new reforms to make it easier to see who's lobbying Congress and what they're lobbying for. That type of sunshine is important if we're going to have a Congress focused on the needs of the American people. Beyond that, the committee recommended a centralized source for all committee and subcommittee votes to make it easier for the public to see how their representative voted in committee during bill markups and other committee activity. Transparency like that is a critical ingredient of having a more accountable system. Finally, perhaps just as important as the formal action taken by our committee, the committee also led by example. Uh, my vice chair, William Timmons, and I have made transparency part of the committee's practice. Hearing topics and witnesses are selected in a bipartisan manner. Committee briefings and hearing preparation are done with the full committee staff, not by party line. The committee's website is ADA accessible, and transcripts and hearing materi materials are promptly shared with the public. The vice chair and I also regularly meet with bipartisan groups of colleagues and with reform-oriented organizations to share the committee's progress and our plans. The committee's dedication to transparency is reflected through thoughtful, purposeful actions that could easily be adopted by other committees too. In closing, let me just say this. I am grateful that with partners like all of you, in the coming weeks, months, and years, we can continue to see Congress and the federal government make strides toward being more open and transparent. So ultimately, these institutions work better for the American people. So thank you for that, and I'll see you soon.